Y'all ready for this? Introductions that shine. Hey y'all, Casey here. Let's talk writing. You got a story? I bet you do. Everyone's got one. Whether it's a tale from your childhood, a wild adventure, or a heartfelt moment, stories are what connect us. But here's the thing, having a story is just the beginning. The real magic happens in how you tell it. But how do you tell it so people wanna listen? First impressions matter, right? Just like when you walk into a room, the way you present yourself can make all the difference. It's the same with writing. Your opening lines are your chance to grab attention, to make people sit up and take notice, like that sparkly dress you wear to the rodeo. It's not just about looking good, it's about making a statement. It's about saying, hey, look at me, I've got something special to share. Your writing needs a good first impression too. It's your chance to shine, to show your readers that what you have to say is worth their time. Your writing needs a good first impression too. Think about it. When you start reading a book or an article, what makes you keep going? It's that initial hook, that intriguing start that pulls you in. Without it, you might just move on to something else. That's where section introductions come in. Each section of your writing is like a new chapter in your story. It's a chance to re-engage your readers, to keep them interested and invested in what you're saying. And just like a great song, each section needs its own unique intro. Think of each section like a new song on an album. Each song has its own vibe, its own message, but they all come together to create a cohesive experience. Your writing should do the same. Each section should stand out on its own, but also contribute to the overall narrative. You gotta grab the listener's attention and make them wanna keep going. It's about creating a journey, taking your readers by the hand and leading them through your story. And it all starts with a strong introduction. So how do we do that? How do we craft introductions that not only grab attention, but also set the stage for what's to come? It's about finding that perfect balance between intrigue and clarity, between excitement and information. Stick around because in this here essay, we're gonna learn how to write introductions that'll make your readers holler encore. We'll dive into tips and tricks, explore examples, and by the end, you'll be ready to craft intros that shine as bright as a spotlight on stage. So let's get started and make those words sing. All right, let's break it down. You got your story, you got your sections, now what? Each section needs a little intro, like a friendly howdy at the saloon door. Imagine walking into a room and being greeted warmly. That's what your section intro should feel like. A good section intro does three things. It sets the stage, connects the dots, and hooks the reader. One tells them what's up. Give a sneak peek of what you're gonna talk about. Think of it as a movie trailer, giving just enough to pique interest without giving away the whole plot. Two, keeps them on track. Show how this part connects to the bigger story. It's like a roadmap, guiding your audience through the journey and ensuring they don't get lost. And three, makes them wanna stay teased something juicy to keep them reading. This is your chance to drop a hint, a little mystery that makes them think, I need to know more. Think of it like a recipe. Just as a chef carefully selects ingredients to create a delicious dish, you need to choose your words and ideas thoughtfully. You gotta list the ingredients, what's in this section. This is where you outline the key points or themes you'll be covering and show how they fit into the whole dish, your main story. It's about creating a cohesive narrative where each part enhances the overall flavor. And just like a pinch of spice, add a little something extra to make them hungry for more. Maybe it's an interesting fact, a compelling quote, or a provocative question. Remember, the goal is to engage your audience right from the start. A well-crafted intro can make all the difference in keeping them hooked. So take your time with it. Experiment with different approaches until you find what works best for your story. And don't be afraid to revise. Sometimes the first draft isn't perfect, and that's okay. The key is to keep refining until it feels just right. In summary, a killer section intro is your chance to set the tone, provide context, and entice your audience. It's the gateway to your story, so make it count. With practice and attention to detail, you'll be crafting intros that not only inform, but also inspire and captivate. Happy writing. Now, how do you keep folks glued to the page? Ask them. People love to think and share their opinions. At the end of each section, throw in a question or two. Make them think, hmm, good question. 
Here's the trick. Ask questions that relate to what you just talked about. If you're writing about your first time on stage, ask, what was your most memorable performance? Share in the comments. Or ever get stage fright? What helps you calm down? See? Questions keep the conversation going. Asking questions is great, but don't leave folks hanging. When you're in the spotlight, whether it's at a press conference, a meet and greet, or a Quanda session, the way you answer questions can make a huge difference. It's not just about giving information, it's about creating a connection. Answer your own questions before moving on. This technique helps you stay in control of the conversation and ensures that your audience feels heard and understood. It's like a dance where you lead, but also respond to your partner's moves. It's like having a conversation with your reader. Imagine you're sitting down with a friend, sharing stories and experiences. This approach makes your answers more relatable and engaging. It turns a simple quanda into a memorable interaction. For example, after asking about stage fright, you could say, my first time on stage, I was so nervous I thought I'd faint. Sharing personal anecdotes makes your answers more vivid and authentic. It shows your human side, making it easier for your audience to connect with you. But then I looked out at the crowd, saw their smiling faces, and remembered why I love music. This not only answers the question, but also paints a picture of your journey and emotion. It's a powerful way to draw your audience in. It calmed me right down. See how that works? By sharing your experience, you provide a solution and a sense of reassurance. Your audience can see themselves in your story, making your answer more impactful. You shared your experience and connected with your readers. This connection is what makes your answer stand out. It's not just about the facts. It's about the feelings and experiences behind them. Now they feel like they're getting to know you. This sense of familiarity and connection can turn casual listeners into loyal fans. So next time you're answering questions, remember to share a piece of yourself. It's the key to answering like a pro. Section five, get chatty calls to action and surveys. Want to really get people talking? Use calls to action in surveys. A call to action is like a friendly nudge. Tell your readers what you want them to do. Share your thoughts in the comments. Have you ever felt the same way? Tell me your story. Surveys are fun too. Ask multiple choice questions or have them rate something. It's a great way to get feedback and make your readers feel involved. Section six, Space Cowboy Wisdom, Casey's Tips for Stellar Writing. Here are a few extra tips from yours truly. Write like you talk, be yourself y'all. Long paragraphs can be a drag, keep them short and to the point. This helps you catch any awkward parts. A little humor goes a long way. Remember, writing is like singing. It comes from the heart. So let your true voice shine through. Section seven, giddy up writers putting it all together. All right, let's recap. We talked about why section introductions are important, how to write them so they grab attention, asking questions to keep readers engaged, answering those questions like a pro, using calls to action and surveys to get folks talking. Now it's your turn. Time to put these tips into practice. As section eight, what's your story? Sharing your voice. Everyone has a story to tell. What's yours? Maybe you're a rodeo queen with a secret passion for baking, or a mechanic who dreams of being a country music star. Whatever it is, don't be afraid to share it. The world needs your voice. So go on, write your heart out. Section nine, that's a wrap. Keep writing, y'all. Well, folks, that's all from me. Remember, writing is a journey, not a race. Keep practicing, keep experimenting, and most importantly, have fun. Now go out there and write like nobody's reading, but hopefully they will be. Love, Casey.